Okay, so this problem is very similar to the programs we wrote for uh, problem seven and problem eight. Um, so we've, we can actually reuse quite a bit of the same code. Um, so much that we're really not going to be writing too much new code. It's mostly just going to be modifying the two. Um, we've taken our rectangles intersect program that uh, drew the two rectangles that you could drag around. We're, we're still going to create a window, a label, a canvas, create the two rectangles, um, and then bind our click handler. And then what we've added is the um, manual entry fields that we created in problem eight. Uh, that one we had a center X and a center Y and a radius. Here we've just changed those so that the, uh, we now have a center X, center Y, We've changed the radius to width, and then we've added a height variable. So we now have four variables instead of three. Um, once again, we just create a new entry for those, and then we arrange them in the grid. Uh, we update the fields so they match the models, and then we just threw this button down at the bottom that we'll call our redraw function uh, when it's clicked. Um, uh, again, we created a, a for loop that just iterates through all the variables for each of the variable rectangle pairs. So we do all the R1 variables and then R, all of the R2 variables. Um, we set the X, set the Y, set the width and, and the height. Uh, this is the update label function that we pulled out in problem eight. Um, this is a modified version of our update rectangle utility function from problem seven. Uh, like problem eight, we added the X and Y as explicit parameters so that they don't just come from the event. And then we replaced the uh, radius optional value with optional height and width values so that if they are not specified, it will use the existing ones from the model. But if they are specified, it will use these values instead of those and update the model with the new values. Um, our click handler is basically the same as what we did in problem eight. Uh, we just updated it to use the new utility functions. And then in our redraw function, we uh, like problem eight, we just call our update rectangle, get all the values from the variables, and then we update the label. So if we go ahead and run that, bring this over, we can see that we can drag the rectangle around just like before. But now if we were to change one of these values and then redraw, it moves over there see that the label will also update. We can also change the size. And still move them around and it behaves just as we expect that it would. 